Hari Om, Swami Ji. Hari Om, Hari Om. Welcome to the 12th episode of ours. Uh, today we will be talking about, you know, I will be raising some issues which I face every day. On a daily basis, I, I have these issues coming up. When you go to somebody's house, you are having a friendly circle talk. You are just meeting them. Hardly you will find people talking good things. Hey, that person is doing well. My, your friend so and so is doing well. This government is doing good things. Very often, what do we talk? This government is useless. That friend cheated me. This thing he let me down. He stabbed me from my back. My uh, office team let me down. So we always try if you see consciously do we want to do it i don't know we never wa would want to do it but consciously we are dwelling in negativity how do we consciously move out of negativity and start cultivating a habit of positivity uh, there is enough pos positives happening in life and enough negatives happening in life we could, it is our choice. I believe it is our choice to look at negativity or positivity. How can we improve our perspective and start looking at positivity more? Is something I wanted to discuss with you. Yes. <clears throat> this topic, you know, it has got a wide ranging influence in our uh, human relationship. To look at everything in a positive way is a great blessing. So how to get it? People who are having seemingly a negative approach, they are also not bad. But basically, okay. intrinsically, essentially, they have this tendency. They don't mean anything bad. A perfectionist will always say, this is not right, that is not right. Not that he means anything bad. but. When we try to look at it from the spiritual angle, that is the only way by which we can try to get over this. And constant alertness. Spiritual angle means what? When I came to this world, I did not bring anything from my mother's womb when I, when I came. I did not bring anything. Even a little research into my own but will reveal that that has been given to me by that unknown power called God. Father and mother are only instrumental cause because father and mother also have got father and mother. Correct. Parents. So they can't be the first cause. So Correct. That is what be the mom. So that unknown factor was responsible for my birth. And during my just me with 200 odd organs with which I am functioning now. I did not do anything. And then I came out, I did not bring anything. The moment I land, I need air to breathe, fundamental thing. Water to drink, earth to exist, space to move about, 98.4 degree temperature to keep me alive. I need sun. Metals, minerals, gases, rains, pulp, vegetables, fruits, pulses. I have not done anything. Okay. Ah. When when I look at me now, at this age, what all creature comfort that make my life comfortable? I suddenly realize that I have not done anything. Whether the specs which we are using, the clothes we are using, the, the language which yeah, we are using, the building. I have not done anything. So during our spiritual journey, if we try to understand this, you become aware of what all you have been blessed with rather than what all you don't have. This is the basic approach to life. So the contentment, the positivity, everything can come only when first I realize that I am a recipient of so many things from so many quarters through so many people. When you are talking about coffee, 
the moment you have a cup of coffee, the poor eye. How from a seed, from the coffee, and then later on from the coffee plant, and uh, later on uh, after blossoming, fruition, after plucking, various processes, finally it comes to me on my table as a cup of coffee. How many people have contributed for it? Suppose there is a, the sugar is not that enough or the decoction is not that strong. When you have this in your mind, so many put, have put in effort and when somebody asks, how was the coffee? Coffee is good, but I would be happy if a little more sugar is there. A little more uh, strong is the uh, decoction. No, there's a way of telling. That means you are not belittling what all you enjoying. Oh, yeah. at, at the same time, when they ask, by yourself you will not do it. Because nobody will willingly or knowingly commit such mistakes. It can happen yeah. to anybody at any time. Even if I am an expert coffee maker, and yeah. I, on, I might because of my preoccupation with something. So I always re realize that. Number one. Number two, before we pass a uh, judgment, in, in this case, negative judgment, we try to see the individual in its totality. On a particular issue, you differ, agree. Correct. But it means that you don't agree, you, you disagree with him totally. So you try to understand wherever we have we have this balancing, our negative approach will not be treated as a negative approach. In at home, suppose somebody says does something, and then you make a comment, they will not take it as a hurt thing, you know. Then you, you will not say, what do you know about? Then they will not take, oh, sorry, no. But there is the whole matter. So that means the totality you are trying to consider. And then in which to uh, err is human. But also we keep on pumping this idea. To err is human. So we are we can all commit mistakes. Nobody can say that I am 100% perfect. So the, if this attitude levels up, and the third aspect, the person may be doing it out of immaturity or absent-mindedness or in a hurry, he wanted to do it. So we call him. We, we have such instances in our uh, professional life. How the bosses, the other day we were sharing, you know, how they... Yes tolerated our uh, nonsense and without voting us how they corrected us if they had condemned us only seen the negative part then we would not have gained anything and from their standpoint because of their love because they know this particular individual is trying his level best he was not able to really live up to the mark but he should be encouraged so all these things traits can be approached with the spiritual angle Spirituality is nothing but establishing proper human relationship. Need not think about God realization, this and that. Our simple yeah. we have to connect ourselves with that power, who is everybody, which means I am trying to identify myself with the entire creation to the extent possible. Whether it is an object, whether it is a person, whether it is a situation. Actually, you react to any of these three, person, object, situation. Correct. Put a uh, uh, label called negative, but you will not put the negative. The person is not negative. The, uh, the situation is not negative. When we try to understand the reason behind it. Suppose I give you, with all my love, a bit regard, and you, I, you can say, but suppose you start accepting, Vitragad will only be have bitterness, you know. That is it, Sabhava. Oh. So like that, when I start accepting everything as they are, probably I may be able to get out of this negativity. He is a short-tempered person. I will not have anything against him because I know that he is a short-tempered person, but basically he is good. After some time, I can make him understand. 
what you shouted, you know, is not all right. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a slip of my tongue. There ends the whole matter. So, in, in all such, uh, uh, in all dealings, suppose you bring in the spiritual dimension. The spiritual dimension will definitely make you aware of what all you have been blessed with. True. No doubt. No. Uh, every time, oh, if at all we make a comment, the maid servant does not do uh, the thing properly. Immediately we place ourselves in her position. We don't know the background with which she is coming here, how she is drawn here. So we have to lovingly tackle that. We are, we have nothing against her. Basic spiritual dimension means we have nothing against anybody. Each one does. Uh, each one does it because of their their prarabdha, their. Uh, Taste, temperament, inclination, aptitude, their sabhava. So I try to sit before I react and try to understand. And then lovingly, if she is not in a mood to accept it, then after some time when she is in a mood, we crawl. We call and sit. Every time when you do something, my mind keeps on seeing that this is bad, this is bad. I know it is not going to help me or you. So what is the way of it? Like that. Only by adopting the spiritual standards, we feel it will become to some extent practical for us to have this positive attitude. Puja Madhaji here used to say, when you see greatness in others, you see the greatness in yourself. When you see the pettiness in others, you see the pettiness in yourself. <laughs> we we seem to see pettiness often, and that is gossip. And that <laughs> moment, the moment I, I give out a feeling of negativity, immediately oh, that negativity is there in me. With that colorization, I am looking at it. I am not accepting the individual as an individual. So the uh, this will take some time. And the experience is the best teacher. Observation and experience. We come across, God will provide us with opportunities to observe people who even in the provocative circumstances, they will not lose their balance. They will not shout back. So that, that makes me to think about it. Instead of rushing up anything, you can, you can be frank, you can express anything, you are the closest person. Then the question of positive negative will not come. So that means your relationship is strong, not strong. So unless and until we develop our relationship with everybody in that manner, we should be a little careful. Otherwise, it will spoil not only uh, our, our life, their life, so many people's life. Our health also. <laughs> so Swami Chinmayanandji used to say, not only that we are uh, making our life miserable, we make others' life also miserable. Uh, unknowing, unknowingly. Because the one word, suppose we utter, however much we say we are sorry, the damage it has caused is going to take ages for getting erased. So, uh, this we can learn only experience, uh, observing experience, and also to but develop a feeling. What, what all you have been blessed with, what all you have been blessed with, what all you have been blessed with. Unknown, unknown people have contributed for your welfare. You don't know them. Right. You are enjoying it. Ah. So when I am enjoying the so many things who have been authored by so many unknown people, the particular shirt you are wearing, you don't know the person who conceived this shirt, this particular color, but you are enjoying it. You went to the shop and picked up this. Achha, so you don't know them. Correct. So when I am when when I am enjoying so many things, whose uh, the the whose uh, effort? How the product? You don't know. Huh? So why don't you why don't we start thinking that when we don't know the persons who have authored this or brought this, and I am enjoying it, uh, instead of seeing this color is not bad, that color is not bad. You will say, how oh, I am enjoying it. To somebody, that color is OK. Correct. It could be like that. That is why they are buying, otherwise they will not sell it. 
this particular language is that that is inevitable or a hotel or uh, this is not right this you will immediately think you know you will call him and tell him you know he check up whether this is salt is more or not please because knowingly we accept that knowingly nobody will do it uh, i will tell you one incident uh, one, one incident when we were working with the jain in vinard mm. one day our uh, tra tractor which had gone somewhere one vehicle had a hit and run so the uh, immediately they telephone somebody that unlike today there is no uh, mobile so they are asked to somebody else from there they telephone to us uh, this accident has taken place the boss you know jail immediately says is anybody hurt no then you don't tell anything uh, accident can come to anybody nobody will willingly go and rash anybody this is called accident So you tell him if everybody is okay, let him repair his, let him leave us. We actually the other man is at fault in our language, normal language. So he says this beautiful word I will never forget. This had happened thirty, thirty-five years back, forty years back. It is called accident. Accident means what? Not a pre-planned one. It can come to anybody. It can come to anybody. So there is no case. Only thing is somebody is. Uh, in what i mean uh, fact that we have to immediately take him to the hospital and do whatever is possible there yes. also the question of right and wrong does not come that is the immediate need we do it so accident means it can happen so everything you know there, there was no negative so the other man immediately came on the phone said and the repair ni njangal thanneka he said not necessary you also have a vehicle i also have a vehicle tomorrow the same thing can happen to our vehicle also so the negativity can be pulled out only when we try to accept things as they are nobody will will fully do it if somebody some something we no. have to keep on uh, tutoring ourselves nobody will willingly do it i mean knowingly do it so it could happen due to lack of attention yes. uh, absent mindedness preoccupation yes. so many things but at the same time suppose you are running an organization you have to exercise their discipline so you will call them lovingly tell them If, if the same is repeated also you will tell them what are we to do now somebody is a good worker good worker honest worker but he has got this weakness for alcohol so whenever uh, whenever he takes it and when he comes and uh, creates trouble for others they come and uh, complain to us sure so we called him one day See, we don't know how to handle you we can't send you out you are a part of us but at the same time from the vyavaharic angle we cannot allow this to happen so what you can do you know you be and come and stay in my near my room from morning to evening have your food and come back don't go for any work so one day two days he came and said i can't sit alone so what am i to do the you somehow at uh, you in that particular incidents god made us to tell to take a decision from him you are not taking the decision suppose you are in this condition how will you handle we cannot send you out because you are a part of our family at the same time this cannot be allowed so we don't know how to take any action you tell us then he said i will not do it here okay go for work Anyway, thank you so much i think you know this is a very very uh, interesting um, topic and um, we have to learn a lot we have to do a lot of sadhana to um, you know consciously, consciously look at uh, reducing the negativity thinking yeah. of the positivity and all that yeah. thank you very much we will yes you are on you